Hi, this is Rob from Joe Workman Stacks. Today I'm going to show you how to add custom fonts to the letterpress stack. So once you add a, a letterpress stack to your page, um, then you want to go to the Google Fonts website, which is www.google.com slash fonts. And there you can choose from one of the many different fonts that they have. And they have, uh, as you see, it keeps scrolling and scrolling and lots of different cool fonts that you can add very easily with the letterpress stack. So let's go back up to the top. So I'm going to choose this one here. It's called Kavoon. K-A-V-O-O-N. Now, to get this to work on your site, it's very simple. First thing you need to do is click on this little icon here. It says Quick Use. So you click on that, and it'll bring you to the, the setup here. And depending on the font you choose, you can have different um, options to choose from. Obviously, this one only has a normal 400, but other fonts might have different options, bold and so on. Um, you can choose Latin extended or just plain Latin. Um, I'm just going to keep the basic that way there. Okay, And then all you need then is this code under the standard tab here. You don't have to go past step three. So you highlight this code and copy it. Okay, and then you're done with the Google Fonts page. You can go back to your Rabbit Weaver stack. Now, what you want to do next is bring up your page inspector. And you want to go to the header tab. Now, you'll already see that I have this um, already pasted into my header area. So you click on the header tab, this other little header tab, and paste your code right there. Okay, close up the page inspector. Then make sure you're on the letterpress stack so you can adjust the settings. Then you want to go to this style one here that's called theme font and you want to go all the way down and click on custom definition. When you do that, then you want to put the custom font name in. I already have that in there. It's called Kavoon. You type it in. I would suggest you keep it lowercase. I haven't tried it with uppercase, but just keep it lowercase to, to keep it a standard look. Um, and then once you're done with that, it doesn't change it in the edit area, but if you go to the preview, you will notice it comes up with that custom font. That's the Kafoon font. So it's a very simple way to add really cool looking fonts to your websites that really don't add a lot of time for the person having to download them because it gets it right from Google. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, go forth and make your websites great. Thanks.